Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Clover Amour crochet hooks. I'm really excited about this tutorial. I've had a lot of questions in the past um, of folks who have seen me use these hooks in my videos and have had questions about them, uh, how I like them, different sizes they come in, etc., and where to find them. So in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the different sizes, and I'm going to just share with you a little bit about my experience using them. I've been using them for a while now, and I wanted to use them for a while before I did a review on these so I could uh, share with you everything that I've found along the way. I have here a full set. Now these hooks come in a full set like I have here, a set of 10, or you can purchase the sizes individually. They also have a steel hook set, and those are in, uh, these are kind of in classic kind of rainbow colors. And then they also have a smaller uh, steel hook set if you want the little tiny hooks. And those handles are in um, kind of a spectrum of pastels. If you're after larger hooks, which I also love to use and have been using those as well, they make those and they come in the 6.5 millimeter, 7 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 9 millimeter, and 10 millimeter. And those handles are um, kind of rainbowy as well, but they're neon. So they make the full um, spectrum of hooks in really fun colors, as you can see here. So my set of 10 that I'm going to be showing you today is we have here the smallest one of the, of the set. And again, you can... Um, purchase these individually as well if you have some that you use more than others. But if you get the set of 10, there is a 2.25 millimeter B crochet hook, and that's this pretty lime green here. There is a 2.75 millimeter C crochet hook, and that's this sunshiny yellow. There's a 3.25 millimeter D hook in the orange. And then in this kind of strawberry color is a 3.5 millimeter E hook, a 3.75 millimeter F hook in this pink color. The purple is 4.0 millimeter G crochet hook. And we have a seven, a 4.5 millimeter in this lighter blue. The H hook, which I have used quite a bit, uh, the five millimeter H crochet hook in the darker blue. This pretty green color is a 5.5 millimeter I crochet hook. And finally, a 6 millimeter J crochet hook, which you've seen a lot in my videos, such as this one in action. A lot of you have asked me how the hooks feel in your hand. So some of us hold our hook in the knife hold where you have your hand kind of over top of the hook and your thumb down here below. Um, that is how I primarily use mine. Sometimes I'll hold mine in the other way. Some people call this the fork grip where your thumb is on top and you're kind of holding it like a pencil. I've heard people call it a pencil grip as well. So. Um, I, I do hold my hook like this once in a while if I'm making a lot of chains or if I, my hand's getting a little um, bit bored and I want to just kind of change positions. But I find that for both positions, this pencil or fork grip and the knife grip are very, very comfortable. It has a very nice thumb rest. And the material that the hooks are made of is, this is an aluminum top. It's a polished aluminum, according to the Clover site, and it's very, very smooth and satiny. I'll bring it up very close so you can see. It's very smooth and satiny, and um, it does not snag the yarn. I, I didn't find any splitting of the yarn with this, and um, it, it just really glides through the yarn very nicely. The handle is... Um, a uh, ergonomic uh, shaped handle, but the material is uh, what they call, according to Clover.com, I looked this up, it's called an elastomer rubber, which is just um, a fancy way of saying it's just a really soft rubber. Um, it has a very kind of satiny feel. If you're a fan of the Clover soft touch hooks, I have also read that this rubber thumb grip 
uh, is, is also made of this elastomer rubber. So if you're a fan of this rubbery thumb grip of the Clover Soft Touch Hooks, you'll like this uh, rubber as well. One thing that I noticed while using the hooks is, um, as I mentioned before, they come in bright colors. So once you're using the hooks, if you have a set of them and you've used the hooks for a while, um, I've gotten to know the colors. So I know when I'm digging through, I have a little zip-up bag where I keep all my hooks. Actually, um, I can show it to you. I have it over here right now. It's very, very full. I can barely shut it because I've been using it all day. But this is my little zip-up case, and I keep all of my tools inside. But when I'm digging through my giant zip-up bag, and it's just, as you can see, full of stuff, uh, I've gotten to know the colors. So I know that this particular shade of blue is my H-hook. So if I'm digging through and I need an H-hook, I know as soon as I see that color, I've found it. And, um, of course, the colors are so much fun and fun to use, and they're just so bright. And I've been using these for a while now, and even holding them, uh, we all have natural oils in our hands, and, you know, tossing them on a table or tossing them into a bag, um, they still look great. They uh, have not faded. There's no splitting or uh, stress marks or anything from using them. Um, they haven't gotten really, I mean, I don't run them through the dirt or anything like that, but they haven't gotten, uh, they, they, they look like they, they did the day I got them. So, uh, one other thing I really love about these hooks, and, um, this is something I didn't notice right away until I started using it for a while, but if you look at the hook very closely, um, up close here, uh, the hook size is actually carved into the rubber, which I really love. Some hooks that I've used, um, the uh, hook size will be painted or printed onto the hook. And sometimes, not always, that can, as you hold the hook in your hand and are using it frequently and for long stretches, it can rub off after a while. I've had that happen with um, knitting needles as well. But this is carved right into the rubber, and I find that to be very, very nice, um, and it hasn't worn away or anything like that, even though this is where your, your palm would be if you hold it like I do, the knife grip. So that is something else that I really like about these hooks. Again, they come in a set of 10. You get the 2.25 millimeter all the way up to the six millimeter with this size. Now, what I like to do when there's new hooks out, I like to just, um, I, I tend that I use the H, I, and the J quite a bit. Um, pretty frequently the G as well. So I find that if there's a hook I'd like to try, you can also purchase these individually. So you could just get one hook and use it for a project or two and see before you invest in an entire set, which is really nice that you can um, have both options. I have seen some sets that mine came in a plastic box. I have seen some out there that come in a really pretty um, like a zip-up case that makes it really nice. You open it up and there's all your beautiful hooks laying there. So I would love to hear your thoughts on these hooks. If you could leave your ideas and comments um, in the comments area below, I'd love to hear what you think about these hooks and if you have any questions about the hooks as well. So I hope this helps if you are in the craft store and looking at hooks and wondering what uh, these hooks are all about. I hope this gave you a little bit of more information about the hooks. And hopefully those of you who have asked me questions, I hope this answered some of your questions as well. So that's it. That's it for the Clover Amore hooks. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.